Hey folks, I'm in my driveway cleaning up my equipment after getting back from PYWP 2010 and I thought I'd shoot a quick 360 video of an old military trailer that I modified to pull behind my Jeep Wrangler. I took an old 1978 M416 trailer, completely stripped it down and had it repainted to match my Jeep Wrangler. Let me see if I can pan over so you can see what the Wrangler looks like. After I had it repainted, then I did a couple little custom things. I completely removed the military wiring harness and replaced it with uh, some 12 volt uh, trailer lights so that I could hook it directly to any one of my tow vehicles. And I had to replace the data plate. I found one on eBay and was able to stamp all the original information onto it. Replaced the reflectors and I got an old uh, Jeep logo off of, I think it was a Grand Cherokee or a regular Cherokee. As I come around to the right side you can see that I relocated the fenders and made room for some 35 inch tires that match my Jeep. And the reason I did that was so that I would only have to carry one spare for both uh, the trailer and the Jeep. Got another sticker there in the front, put an amber marker to make it a little bit DOT compliant. I kept the front Lynette eye, I think that's what it's called, and it articulates really well when I go off road. I've actually flipped this trailer on its side and it didn't knock my uh, tow vehicle off camber at all. I replaced the front landing leg with a wheel so that it's easier to move when I'm on flat ground. I've got a Mark 19 ammo can bolted onto the front and inside there I keep all my welding equipment locked up. Uh, that equipment's for an onboard welder that I have mounted on under the hood of the Jeep. I'll do another video on that at a later date. Inside I've got a couple Conoco boxes and then there are some fluids, some parts, um, miscellaneous tools. I got a 20 foot uh, winch line extension that I use to lock up the trailer when I'm not towing it behind the vehicle. Cooler to keep stuff cold. There's some, uh, some more parts. I've got a couple of front and rear drive shafts. Uh, the short and long side for a Dana 30 and the short side for a Dana 44. I usually carry about 15 gallons of extra fuel, 20 gallons of water. There's another cooler that I usually yank out of here and put inside the Wrangler got my chainsaw underneath the bridging ladders and then in my bucket has uh, my onboard shower system and then let me come around to the side right here and you can see a Baja Buster that I have strapped on the inside and I picked that up uh, to test it out and I'm not real impressed with it so far but I'll do a video on that later and you can make your own decision how you like it let me just do a quick 360 And there you have it, my 1978 M416 trailer. Thanks for watching.